Hey everybody, um, has something kind of special um, to unbox today. Um, this is a, um, a rifle that I purchased through Man of Wars uh, Military Surplus. Um, he's supposedly a, um, the owner of this webpage supposedly is a collector and he sells some of his collection periodically. Um, his it's an interesting website and he offers a layaway program so I took advantage of that and been paying on this for a while. Um, this is actually uh, from the Spanish Civil War. It's a Mauser uh, made specifically for Franco's Air Force. Um, I've never seen one before. Um, it, from the pictures um, when I signed up for it it's in pristine condition. Looks like all matching numbers. Um, I've always wanted to get a Spanish Mauser, but I just didn't want to get any old Spanish Mauser. I wanted something unique. Um, this definitely costs more than you know a typical Spanish Mauser, but it, it it's it's not very uh, common, so to speak. It's pretty rare. Um, <clears throat> Franco, uh, he was the leader of the Nationalists during the Spanish Civil War. Uh, the Nationalists fought against the Republicans. The Republicans were a left-leaning group. Um, they were a part of the popular front government of the Second Spanish Republic and consisted of socialists, communists, separatists, anarchists. And then you had the Nationalists that were more conservative, um, traditionalist, monarchists and they were led by Franco. And uh, the war started in 1936 and um, lasted until 1939 when the Nationalists won. Um, all in all, there were about a half a million people that died in the conflict between civilian and military. Um, so um, it's... it's um, not a very popular event in history, I guess. It doesn't get that much notoriety or recognition. But um, Claude Bowers, who was our ambassador to Spain during the war, called it the dress rehearsal for World War II, interestingly. Um, so I actually, my first Spanish Civil War firearm was a Mosin Nagant that I... Um, Boy, look at all these little uh, squigglies <laughs> um, that I had purchased a number of years ago on Gunbroker. Um, the Republicans actually were supported by Mexico and Russia. And um, so Russia sent them a lot of firearms, Mosin Nagants. Um, so um, I wanted to complete my collection by having a firearm. Um, that was supported, um, that went along the lines of the um, Nationalists, um, that being the Mauser. The Nationalists were supported by the Germans and um, the Portuguese. And um, who else were they supporting? Italy. Italy was supporting them as well. So um, let me clean this all up so I can unwrap this. And. Uh, So I thought it'd be neat to have um, a firearm representing each side of the conflict. So that's one of the reasons why I went ahead and pulled the trigger on this uh, Mosin, um, which I'll be unwrapping shortly here. Just appreciate your patience. Definitely did a good job packing this. This is my first purchase through Man of Wars. And, um, I have a lot of, he has a lot of nice firearms for sale. Nice selection. Um, and this is one of a few places that offer layaway. So, so anyway, looks like we're all cleaned up here now. Now we can go ahead and 
put the rest of this on. So. Actually, when I'm done unwrapping this and, and um, when we're done taking a look at the Mosin here, I mean the um, Mauser, I should say, not Mosin, Mauser, um, um, I'll show my Mosin gun and put them side by side. Um, just for giggles. I thought that'd be kind of neat. And, uh, we'll go from there. So, it actually came with a sling, which is always welcome. It's always nice to have a sling. It's like a little bonus. Oh, it almost looks like an original sling, actually. So, let's go ahead and continue to unwrap this. The wood looks really good. Looks like he has a lock on here. Oh no, it's just um, really well packed. So let's go ahead and clear. Make sure it's clear. Looks good. Let's go ahead and take that off. closer look so looks like the bolt matches the receiver that's uh, 7.92 Mauser it has the um, Spanish Air Force insignia on here and uh, looks looks pretty good I'm pretty happy with it I think it's neat to have a, it's all matching. Oh, very nice. Yeah, this is really cool. Really cool. So let me, let me go ahead and uh, take the iPhone. I actually, for better audio, I took the iPhone out of the case. So um, go ahead and take a closer look. see the Air Force insignia here. I mean, I've never seen one of these anywhere except for on Man of War's uh, website. So that's in, it's in really good shape. Um, this picture seemed to show it being in better shape in reality, but sometimes pictures can be deceiving. But I'm, I'm really happy with it. I don't have a problem with that. Flip it over. Oops. I don't see any cartouches on the stock, but. Uh, I don't think most of the time Mausers don't really have cartouches and stuff, do they? So, um, anyway, there you have it. So, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and pull out. I have it right behind me. Um, I'm just going to put this down for a second, okay? And I am back, and here is my Mosin again from the Spanish Civil War. This was in support of the Republicans by the Russians. Of course, they're communists. So. Um, so I bought this. These were imported to the United States for a time. Um, back, I think, in the 60s and 70s. Um, don't see many on the market. I rarely ever come across one. That's why when I saw it, I was just like, oh, I'm going to get this. Um, notice that the you have swivels here, which is 
which is interesting. You don't see that. I, I've never seen that on a Mosin made for the Russian military. Um, and then the the caps here are brass, actually. I've never seen that either. Um, this was made in 1936. And, um, you know, the bolt is mismatched. That's expected. But I really like this. This is my favorite Mosin because it's, it hasn't been refurbished or re-arsenal. This is in the state that it was in when it left Spain, <laughs> as far as I can tell. Um, the stock is nicely worn. You know, there's no finish on it. It's just, you know, probably some linseed oil. And, uh, but there you have it. There you have it, both, um, both firearms from the Spanish Civil War conflict. And um, appreciate you taking the time to watch. And um, if you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and um, subscribe to the channel. Appreciate your support. Thank you.